Welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take a look at Microsoft Excel and setting up the interface and the options the way you like it. So before you even start a spreadsheet there are certain things you want to do and one of, the, one of the things I do is I go to Excel Options which is in the upper left hand corner. We'll click on that and then we'll click on Excel Options right there. And you can see we have a lot of stuff to do but what I like to do is I like to change the font here and the reason I change it here is because I want to change it for all the documents I create from now on. This will be the default and I generally like the font size. Font size of 11 is fine. You could change it down to 10. You could change the view if you want. We'll go over that in a later video and then you could also change the number of sheets. Usually I am working with just a single sheet but depending on your needs you can change that to two if you want and we'll have another video on worksheets. This is very important right here. Personalize your copy of Microsoft Office. You definitely want to change that to something generic instead of your name so a lot of times your first and last name will be automatically typed in there because that's what you typed in when you installed the program. The, the problem with this setting right here is it will attach this to the metadata of Microsoft Office documents. So when you make an Excel spreadsheet and you save it, this stuff is going to be saved to the document. And uh, sometimes you might not want that. So you could change it. You could just say the name of your company. You could just leave it blank if you wanted to. And that's what I'm going to do here. There's a couple other things. Let's see, formula. I don't usually mess with formula too much. Proofing, there are some options that you might want to change here. Autocorrect sometimes can mess you up. But as you, we go into save, it's the fourth option down. Auto recover information. This should be check marked. If not, go ahead and check it. And what you probably want to do is every 10 minutes, by default, it's going to save a copy of your workbook. So just in case something crashes or you lose battery power or whatever, you can always get back to that saved point. Now the problem with this is 10 minutes is a long time. I usually change this to 2. And uh, if you don't care, you could also change it to 1 if you want. But 2 is usually a very good setting. The auto recover file location, this is where it is saving the information. And the default file location right here is where it will save the document by default if you click save. Okay, there's not much else that I like to change here. Everything looks pretty good and we're going to exit out of there. If you want to save your options you would click OK. So I'm going to cancel out of there. That does it for the Excel options. Now the next thing you might notice is in the upper left hand corner there is this three option kind of like a toolbar. This is called the quick access bar and what this is for is if whenever you want to save there's that save icon right there and you can click on that and it brings you the save menu. It also will show a undo and redo. So if I type in something, you can see my undo, my backwards arrow lights up. I could click on that and that undoes the last thing. So a lot of times what people will get rid of, if you're an advanced user, you use the keyboard shortcut of Control Z. Control Z and you also use a keyboard shortcut control Y for redo. So you can save yourself a little bit of space up here by right clicking this quick access toolbar and if you want you could remove it completely. You could remove that particular button as you saw there. So I right click on the button itself and remove from quick access toolbar. So now I just have the save option right there. You can remove the toolbar completely by right clicking and you could customize the quick access toolbar and nuke it if you wanted to. What you could also do is click on this downward facing arrow. You could click on that and this will let you add different options to that toolbar. So we could click on new here and you can now make a new document just by clicking that right there. Okay doesn't really help me that much because I'm already in a brand new document. So I'm going to kill that. So that is the quick access toolbar. 
Now you can actually move this down if you wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but you can actually right click right here or actually click right there. And there is a option show below the ribbon. And what the ribbon is, the ribbon is this big, huge toolbar right there. Okay, so now you can see this quick access toolbar is right there. Uh, that's kind of dumb. So I'm going to click on show quick access toolbar above the ribbon, and that's going to move it back up here. Okay, so even before we start typing, we want to do something else, page layout, and you want to change the margins of this worksheet. We're going to click on margins, and it is normally set to normal, which is three quarters of an inch on top and bottom, and 0.7 on left and right. I always like to do narrow, narrow. Just click on there, and that will give you some extra space when you decide to print out. Okay, so once again, that was page layout, margins, and go to narrow. Okay, the formula toolbar is this, and what the formula is, is you'll see in later where we'll have a bunch of numbers, so let's say we got that. And if I want to add them all up, I'll just show you really quick. I'll just click there and click on Auto Sum, and it's going to add up everything. Well, if I click on the square where it has the addition, you'll see that in the formula toolbar, it will say equal sum B2 to B5. You don't have to worry about that syntax right now. There will be a later video on that uh, in the next coming days. But if you're not dealing with any formulas, if you're just dealing with a straight text document or text spreadsheet or you know something very easy then you can actually move this formula toolbar you can get rid of it you can move it right so you can move it to the right that gives you a little bit more space for the cell label or you can completely crunch it to the left what you could also do is you could click on this drop down and you can see there that it will tell you some more stuff it gives you a little bit more space for this uh, that's going to be a more advanced function later on so you don't need to really worry about that and if you notice over here you see expand formula bar right there you can click the drop down and you can see it expands outward let's see if we can completely get rid of this formula toolbar I think you go up to view there we go and we can click on formula toolbar and we can nuke it it's gone of course you could get it back by just simply clicking the formula toolbar again if you don't like these grid lines, you can click on the grid lines and get rid of it. Now, just as some information, these grid lines will not print. So these are just as your guide when you're typing stuff in, but these up and down lines will not print unless you have a border attached to them. And then headings will get rid of the column headings up here. And as I unclick that, you can see all my column headings are gone and it gives me a little bit cleaner layout. I'm going to get my formula bar back and my headings bar back, so that's pretty, we definitely want those back. And if you want to completely get rid of this ribbon, okay, this huge thing right here, we, we can do that. Let's see. There we go. So if you right click on this menu bar up here, so make sure you right click in this menu bar, not the very top one. So it's the second one from the bottom or from the top. Right click there and you'll see minimize the ribbon. If I click on that, you can see all of that scrunches up. It's gone. And now I have a lot more space to play around with. All right. So that was a quick and easy video on going over the Excel options, the quick access bar, the ribbon, and also the quick access toolbar right here. Thanks for watching.